Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh are here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the spookily seductive Vampire the Masquerade Shadows of New York now, This was developed and published by Draw Distance and it's usually available for £10.74 but to catch it on sale this week for just £2.68 slash $3.24 US style or if there is no sale on and you're watching this later on then it's at £10.74 again now, as with most visual novels, the story is mega intense and insanely interesting, but if you are here just to do a quick grab and smash of all the achievements, well, I can help you with that one too. See, I'm just too nice like that. So then, as for the achievements, the majority you will literally grab by just picking the top option over and over again. In fact, seven of the achievements you'll get are just by holding X to get the text to go faster and pressing the top option. A few others, including both of the endings, we will need to do a bit of cloud save manipulation, but that is noisy, slicey, and oisy. Uh, easy. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. We can get this game done in around 25 minutes. There are also no edits or weird skips in the video. It's all played in real time, so you can keep up with the video. And one more thing, because the game is literally just hold X and pick top option, I'll only be popping my beautiful voice in and around when there's something important to say. But otherwise, tis a simple completion. And with that being said, let us begin and head straight to the settings where I can put the text size to medium. Make sure to put the typing speed to fast and the dialogue options in the middle. Make sure that is clicked on. Otherwise, we can now skip a skipperoni, skipperoni, and go straight into it. So, uh, now what you can do, you can hold down the X button as you can see to make the um, text go completely fast. Uh, we're always going to select the top option. Um, again, for pretty much the majority of the games, so we are going to choose Brian, the guy's guilty of major fraud. That, that's my best American uh, detective voice. God damn, you son of a monkey balls. Um, but, but no, uh, what you can do as well, if you wanted to, while you're holding down the X button, so again, like I said, just keep picking the top option for now. I'll, I'll let you know when you're not supposed to, and when we're going to do the cloud save manipulation. Um, but you can hold the X button and mash the A button to make the text go even faster, which I didn't find out until the very, very end of the game, which is just, that's just friggin' great. Um, yeah, so otherwise, for now, literally just keep spamming um, X and A and just keep picking the top option. And I will let you know when we are going to manipulate the hell out of this save. Okay, hi guys, you still with me? Hello! Okay, right, now we are good to go. We're gonna get two options here, one for shoot her and one for don't shoot her. Do not pick an option just yet. So what we're gonna do is press the start of the three lines or whatever, go to save and exit, and it's gonna take you back to the title screen. That's fine. Now we're going to open up the dashboard, go down to vroom, Shadows of New York, and completely quit out of the game. So that is going to sort out your cloud save. So when we reload there later on, we should be back at the same point. But now we can go back into it anyway. And we need to draw distance. World of Darkness, press A to start. Why am I not in those movie, th movie trailers? There's one guy with one pesticle. Uh, anyway, we're going to reload our save. Sorry, I've done that quite quickly. We're going to reload our save. And we're going to choose the bottom option, don't shoot. So we're going to choose don't shoot first of all. And then just keep going through the dialogue just a little bit until the achievement unlocks. And then what we're going to do is open up the dashboard again. So it should unlock right about me out. The comfort of death will come. Good to know. Right. Do not quit out the game. Go to manage game and add-ons. Again, do not quit the game. Go down to saved data. Save data. Save data. Go down to your profile. And then make sure to choose delete from console. So not delete everywhere. Do not delete everywhere. Just make sure it's delete from console. Then we can go back and we can reboot the game. We can boot the crap out of it. So again, draw distance. World of darkness. Press A to start. Mm. 
Okay, and then it's going to be Sicky Data from Vampire the Masquerade, Shadows of New York, 4%. And then eventually, though, when we get there... Ah, right, now we can reload our save again. So go to load, go to Julia, Julia Night 1. This time you should be at the same point you just were, so now we can shoot her. So make sure to choose the option to shoot her. That'll get you the Shrouded in Shadows achievement. Now, from this point on, um, what you're going to do is literally keep on holding the X button and mashing the A button to make the text go quick. And you literally, you are going to choose the top option every single time. So don't choose any other option. Anytime a bit of dialogue comes up, choose the top option. Now, as you can see on this map here, you will have to go through each of the little sort of areas of the map anyway in, in order to progress the story. So you might as well just keep spamming the A button when you get onto the map and then do the whole thing of holding the X button, spamming the A button to make the text go faster, choosing the top option, and genuinely, these are where the seven achievements are going to come from, and I'm pretty much going to see you in about 15 minutes. So, um, yeah, yeah, see you in a bit.
Hi guys, how is everyone? We're here 15 minutes later. You feeling good? Did you always pick the top option? That's good. But here's when we're going to do the cloud save manipulation once again then. So we're going to get an option here for I will do whatever is necessary or this is a barrier I won't cross. Before picking an option, what we're going to do is press start, go down to save and exit once again. And of course it'll take you to the title screen. So now we're going to go back to the dashboard. Completely quit out of... <laughs> So completely quit out of it, reload back in again, and we'll go, we'll do it again. Draw distance, world of darkness, press A to start. Well, I should be making the mega bucks with this voice, but uh, as it turns out, well, I'm not, so that's a shame. So when we are going to, <laughs> when we're back in, and we're sick of data for vampire, we are going to reload the say, uh, reload our save again. So go to load, and it should be Julia Night Eight. That's what we should be on. Now you can pick either one of the options. It really doesn't matter which option. One basically leads to a good ending. One leads to the bad ending. So I just choose the top option anyway, just to get that one out of the way. So you will get the Know Thyself achievement, and if we just keep spamming the X and A button, or holding the X button and spamming the A button. Uh, we will also get the Scream Bloody Murder achievement in just a little bit as well. And after we've rested from reading and going through things really fast apparently, uh, we will, in just a bit, get, uh, well, this one is the good ending. So, uh, again, I haven't got a real massive clue what's going on, in all fairness, but we're going to spam through all the dialogue, uh, <laughs> as we've been doing for the last 20 minutes or so. Uh, but in a couple of minutes or so, we will get the good ending achievement. So the good ending is if you pick the top option, and the bad ending is if you pick the bottom one. So... Yep, just keep going through, and you will get one of the endings, whichever one you decided to pick. Now, I don't know what happened, but our Goyle friend is missing, and I'm not happy with that one. Old beautiful Blondo. Uh, but anyway, that is apparently the good ending, which I'm quite saddened about, actually. Uh, but that was the good ending. So what we're going to do now is, again, do not quit. We go to the dashboard. We go to Manage Game and Add-ons. Go down to Save Data again. Down to your profile. Delete from a console. Console. Delete from console. Go back, and of course, we're going to reload the save once again. So, you know what to do by now, load up your save, so load Julia, Night 8, and this time you're just going to choose the bottom option, this is a barrier I won't cross, or whatever, basically the opposite one of what you chose last time, so for me, it was this is a barrier I won't cross, 
And that is pretty much it. All we're going to do, once again, is just hold the X button and mash the A button to spam through the di uh, dialogue as quick as you can. And you will get the bad ending achievement and the moon and the sun achievement. And that will be the end of that chapter. Yeah. So actually, if you were reading the dialogue here, uh, this is pretty much the bad ending. Virus has spread and, uh, well, that's bad. But we got a girlfriend back, that's good. But uh, we're all serial killers and we're all gonna die. Hmm, that's bad. Right, anyway, it does come up with a free frogert. That's good. Anyway, sorry, that is the end of Vampire the Masquerade Shadows of New York. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. 14 out of 14 there. I hope you enjoyed the game, if the guide helped. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And I will see you in the next one. Big love.